Monday. Happy Monday. I'm just doing this before I go to work. Um, all right, Uvale, Texas, and Megan. So once again, she's gone to Uvale, Texas, which is a community that was um, rocked with a school shooting. And this is a family that lost a loved one in that shooting. And I mean, we've been inundated with pictures of Megan uh, at this event, singing happy birthday and seeing the family. Body, 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 body. And this comes on the tail end of the panel that she sat on, or rather that she purchased. But again, we have Uvale, Texas. So what is it about Uvale, Texas that has all of us that do this, that report on Megan and Harry, what is it that has us going ah, about her doing this? Well, you're looking at it. <laughs> Every single picture that's been released in the media Every single one is of Megan. Megan is front and center. This lady over here is having no part of it. I would love to know what's going on inside her head because she's not having any part of it. But every single picture we've seen is Megan. Her hair's been done. Her makeup's been done. Her clothes are careful. This cute outfit she's wearing, but she's dressed. We've all been told what she's wearing, how much it costs, and she's photoshopped. Big time photoshopping going on here. Come on. We all know she don't look like this. <laughs> but this is the problem. She's gone to Texas to do this. But then she leaves. And that's that. So she gets her PR. She uses this family's grief to get some PR. And then they leave. There's no projects. There's no conversations being had. There's nothing being done about what's happened in Texas, which by the way, it's not just Texas that this happens and it's a massive problem in the United States. There's more mass shootings in a year in the United States than there are days in the year. It's a huge problem and she's doing nothing. There's no family projects being set up. There's no grief and loss projects being set up. There's no nothing being done other than Megan brings a cake, sings happy birthday. She did this last year too. And that's it, there's nothing. And the thing is, Nobody would care if she did this, if she actually just went and did it. And the thing is, we'd, we'd know about it because somebody somewhere involved in this event would take a picture and it would find its way online. It would. But it would be a picture that is clearly being taken by a loved one going, oh my gosh, look who showed up to, to you know, sing my mom happy birthday or sing my auntie happy birthday. It wouldn't be photoshopped to death. It wouldn't be her front and center, which every single picture we've seen is her front and center. It wouldn't be that. It would just be a normal, natural picture of the event that happened. Not this. I mean, we know they brought a, a camera crew with them. Like, it's obvious. So yeah, let's talk about, let's talk about the Oscars for a second. So the Oscars have came and went. No Harry and Meghan to be found. They weren't invited to a single pre or post Oscar party. Beyonce had a huge party. Huge party. Guess who wasn't invited? Meghan. Elden John has a huge party every year. Guess who wasn't invited? Meghan. The Hollywood crowd has spoken. They've spoken volumes. Harry and Meghan are not part of the Hollywood crowd. All the people that used, used them, they were used. Harry and Meghan were 100% used. It was like, ooh, we could make a little bit of bank and get some free press time and some clickbait by hanging out with Harry and Meghan. And they all did it. And Harry and Meghan are too stupid to know that because they're not part of the A-list or crowd. They don't have a clue. They were used. And why not? Who wouldn't use them? Oprah used them. <laughs> Tyler Perry used them. Everybody has used them. Just like Meghan and Harry have used his connections, not hers, nobody knew who the hell she was, but has used his connections to get the deals that he's been getting to try to bring in a paycheck. So they were not part of the Oscars. So I think the Hollywood crowd has stepped back and went, mm, we're done with you two. We're washing our hands. We don't want to. Oh, hang on. Let me bleach clean my hands from Harry. Uh, and that's where we're at. The only way Megan is getting in anywhere at this point is buying her way in. She did the ridiculous Women's Day International Day panel that she per sponsored through Archie Well, basically purchased the airtime 
which by the way, I've also found out she actually had to make a pretty sizable donation to actually help pay for uh, Katie and Brooke's speaker fees because they actually got paid to be there. She had to make a sizable donation to get her up there. Um, they threw shade at her the entire interview, the entire time they threw shade at her. Oh, tell us about when you when you wrote a letter to the soap company when you were 11, because I don't think everybody's heard that story yet. Went whoa, right over her head that that was 100% Katie throwing shade at her. Brooke, oh, my, my daughter told me just to not read the mean things said about me on the internet and that I needed to get a little tougher and get over it if I'm going to be in the public. Whoa, right over her head, shade. So the only way she's getting in is, is this. No deals are coming. I'm, I'm telling you, these two are going to be broke as fuck in five years. They're going to be broke. They're going to be broke. This event cost her a fortune. And then flying to Texas to go hang out at some barbecue restaurant, take 5,000 PR shots there, and do a birthday party, take 5,000 PR shots there, and then fly home. Where are their kids, by the way? Are there, their kids, like, I don't talk about the kids, but, like, she's up on stage talking about being a mom. Talking about being a mom. Meanwhile, she hasn't been home in a really long time. Really long time. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to the royal family being healthy and back to work again. <laughs> uh, because I think what's happened here is Harry and Meghan are taking full advantage right now of the royal family kind of being on sick leave right now. Uh, and really trying to pump out some PR. The problem is, is it's not working for them. It's not. People are just like, they, we're seeing through it. We're seeing through it. Like, we're starting to see the, the, the train is coming off the bridge in flames. Like, it's it's starting. Well, it started a while ago, but it's it's going, 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 going. Yeah, I wouldn't say she, uh, oh my God. Y'all, I got to do a comments video because the comments for her being on that panel, I'm sorry, Brooke Shields, man, she took some serious heat on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. But on Twitter, serious heat serious heat about being on that stage with Meghan Markle like so uh, I gotta read some comments because they were really really good even the comments about her being in Texas were just like serious heat and shade but anyways I don't know tell me what you guys think of all this little this this PR stuff I gotta go to work but uh and me and me and T are figuring out I think we're gonna do lives on Sundays because I've taken a job that puts me to work on Mondays now which <sighs> anyways and it's too early for this but anyways all right guys Happy Monday. Flick the hair. Got to go to work now.